Yo, 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 back at it again, it's JJ, the Claymore Minotaur, bringing you another GTA Online video. Today we'll be making the purchase and customization of the Pegasi Infernus Classic, which is supposed to be based on a Lamborghini Diablo, as far as I'm aware, probably another few hidden cheeky supercars in there as well, but... Uh, you know how Rockstar does it with their pastiches, and I think this is a marvel of artistic license and mixing and matching. I think it works really well, especially with the um, uh, the features that I enjoy, the subtle features that I enjoy in vehicles like this, which you will see later. Um, at the time of making this, because I bought this on day one, it's been about a week or so since I purchased this uh, this update brought with it a left hand turning bug where in this car and a few other ones that had been released previously could no longer take hard lefts while accelerating it was something that I did notice when giving the vehicle an initial test run uh, to get it from where I was there to Los Santos Customs um, but I believe at the time of me doing the commentary for this video, the bug has been fixed. So that's sorted. Anyway, quick shout out to the subscribers. Check everyone that's in the description box. And let's jump right in. Basically, we have a bunch of cool customizations for this vehicle. Got those engine covers at the back. I liked kind of all of the ones that were available to be completely honest they they all seem to work very well with the design of the car just like what i mentioned earlier it's just a very cool pastiche the uh default options are pretty cool as is even those rims which we'll get a better look at later are from the lamborghini diablo and they look pretty cool, they go very well with the car. Uh, right here we're doing, you know, the plate thing. I always try and go for a plate that will kind of just blend into the vehicle, not kind of stand out as much. Uh, the car itself with its just standard details looks cool enough. Everything else doesn't have to be too gaudy. It looks sporty and angular enough as is I don't know if you noticed but those are some dynamic pop-up headlights we got a set of cool spoilers as well set of cool spoilers some of them look like they fit the car more than others um, there's probably a way you can make your uh, classic car here look incredibly sporty like a racing car but even just the standard uh, spoiler that it comes with makes it look exotic enough as it is. I don't remember if I decided to actually lower this bad boy. Well, I did. I did. I actually went for a more of a performance-based uh, customization there. I think it's supposed to lower the center of gravity of the car make it a bit more twitchy in the corners but I don't know how deep it goes um, in GTA when it comes to these kind of physics because you have to remember at the time this was made this and a few other cars couldn't turn left properly but yes back to the customization of the vehicle I do remember wondering if I needed to really go in with the uh, performance upgrades I don't remember what I actually did but I did something and then you get a quick look at the inside of the car checking what the trim is saying and it's a cool interior it must be said it's a very cool interior I think I went with a red just because it fits the style of what it's supposed to represent in the real world and it nailed it 
and nailed it but it does look pretty good in a bunch of different colors like the white looks good the yellow looks good the black looks good the greys and the silvers look good it's just a cool car it's just a very cool car just those headlights just anytime you're gonna hit me with those dynamic headlights or dynamic spoilers or just those subtle nuances on these vehicles that were missing beforehand that were missing before and see the yellow there's just looking banging but you bring them in especially on a vehicle like this and I'm sold fortunately as you can see in the top right corner there the GTA wallet was very well prepared for the inclusion of this vehicle the rust on and the other classic car that I will showcase at a later date don't worry I'm not gonna leave you hanging on those ones there's another one where due to half term hijinks where I'm based I don't know if you can even hear some of those very same half term hijinks in the background of this recording but unfortunately I didn't really have an environment conducive to recording so I wasn't able to give you this video as soon as I had made the purchase so unfortunately we're going to be a few days behind but no worries a car this quick this slick this exotic will catch up in no time and there it is there it is check out that description box yo it's jj the claymore minotaur signing out later